everybody, welcome back to Prepper Junkie today. Um, I'm pretty excited to go over this firearm. It is a LWRC International DI. It is uh, pretty dang cool. So uh, let's go ahead, open the box up, uh, review the gun, give you my thoughts and so on. All right, so in the box comes, it comes with a 30 round PMAG, if you live in a state that allows those. Comes with an operator's manual, and it comes with the AR-15. All right, so um, yeah, we'll go from butt to tip and uh, we'll, we'll go over this. So yeah, I mean, I wasn't sure what to expect because it's my first interaction with LWRC. Um, I know that people really like them and that's why I wanted to get it on the channel. Um, but when I got it and I opened the box um, at the gun store, I was like, dang, that is a good looking rifle. So um, yeah, so let's dive on in. So uh, this comes with an LWRC stock. This is their own stock that they make. Um, it's pretty nice. Uh, it does have a QD adapter on both sides. It does have a, a pretty good uh, cheek rest here. It's not too bad. Um, it's pretty nice. Obviously has the uh, padded butt stock as well. And obviously is six position to collapse with stock. Click that into place. Uh, standard mil spec buffer tube. And then obviously we have the castle nut here, which has been staked. Staking looks good. Um, end plate, it's just a standard end plate. And there's no QD mount on there. Moving forward, uh, we have the ambi charging handle. Um, again, it's just it's pretty dang nice. Love ambi charging handles. Um, I think that everyone should have them. <laughs> they're just really cool. Uh, been able to to manipulate them with both hands, or if you're a left and right shooter. So I, I'm a I'm a fan. Um, the upper and lower is 7075 T6 aluminum, as you'd expect. Um, there is little to no play with the upper and lower receiver. The, the, um, there's some real nice precision uh, machining going on with these. So I'm going to touch base with the lower in a second. I'm going to put it down because it's pretty cool. It's all ambi and I want to give you guys a close up of it. So we'll come to that in a second. On top of the rail here, we have a, a little US flag. And then we have a 1913 uh, pick rail all the way up. And then you can see at the top here, it's been aggressively cut out on the sides and on top to lighten this down. It is a pretty dang light rifle. And it does have T marks all the way up here also. Now the rail is kind of interesting on this one. Um, it's not M lock as such. Um, so there is an M-Lock rail version, and then there's this version. Um, and I, and this, this version looks pretty cool to me. Um, it does have these um, rails on, uh, little uh, rail protective rails on here. And then on the other side, uh, it came with a 1913 pick rail. Um, so and it's kind of a proprietary system though, which some people are not going to like, uh, and I get that. But for me, it comes with everything I need to set up my rifle. So, um, so I would take out, or I would, I would remove, I would kind of switch this both sides, right? So I'd have the pick reel on this side because I like to run my flashlight on this side, and then I could still put my tape switch up top. So for me, this all still works, and it's got a really nice... Um, four end uh, hand stop here this this comes with it also this is actually how it came set up um, and it sits really nice in the hand right there uh, and it's very very comfortable so it's kind of a cool rail system and it is proprietary now so if you look down at this side you can you can see here how this kind of it comes in and narrows in so this rail is is proprietary so you have to use a lwrc rail so that's a, that's a downside if you're if you don't like the rail um, and you know, you're not gonna be able to switch out very easily because you're gonna be limited with options. Um, so make sure you like the rail before you buy the gun. Uh, one of the other really, really cool features um, of many on this. So what the really cool thing with this barrel is it's a fluted spiraled barrel. It is cold hammer forged and it's a one in seven twist. Uh, what makes this barrel so awesome not just what I've just mentioned, is the sheer fact that it, with these spirals, it makes it lighter. Uh, it takes some of the weight out, and that's why I was saying before, this gun is really light, and that is one of the things that really help it lighten it up, um, but it still keeps its overall strength because of the way the spiraling's done. Um, and also, this barrel actually cools down easier because of the spiraling also. So it's a really, really cool barrel. Um, yeah, very, very cool. Okay, at the end here, we just have a A2 birdcage flash lighter. 
All right, so that's pretty much everything um, on the outside. I'm gonna change the camera angle and we'll take a look at the lower. All right, so let's take a gander at this lower. As I said, it's really, really cool. It is a fully ambidextrous lower, which I'm a huge fan of. I just reviewed the Knight uh, Complete Ambi lower the other day and I was hugely impressed. So uh, let's go ahead and look at this one. So as I said, it is ambi safety. So obviously here is your standard safety right here. And here is the one on the other side. And it obviously has been shortened down, which is kind of nice when your trigger finger is down here that's not gonna rub against it. So I do like that. We have a, we have the bolt catch on this side, um, obviously, and on this side. So all you lefties out there, you, you don't have to feel left out anymore. And, I, and again, I just, I really like the fact that I could use um, either hand to manipulate this lower. Uh, obviously we have a standard uh, mag release, and then we have a big paddle for the mag release on this side here. Now, the interesting thing is, I actually think I like this mag release better than the one on the night. Um, all right, so, so yeah, that is the mag release. And then obviously we have the mag well has been flared a little bit for uh, easier insertion of the magazines. Um, and we have a, a kind of a cool um, trigger guard right here that is marked with LWRC. And then we have the LWRC uh, grip here. It is it does have polymer here, but the grip part here is textured and they're rubber, like a rubber overmold. So it does feel really nice in the hand. And we do have a compartment at the bottom of the grip also right here. Uh, moving to the trigger, it's a pretty decent trigger. Um, let's do the trigger pull weight and we'll see what it comes out at. So we're going to use our little uh, wheeler trigger pull skill here. So let's put that on. Let's get this. Come in at five and a half pounds, just under five and a half pounds. It isn't a two stage trigger, trigger it is single stage. Um, let's try this one more time. Oh, just slip off. Five and a half pounds again. Um, it's definitely a, a, a decent trigger in there. Um, very nice. Uh, very little take up. Uh, before, very, very little take up before you're at the wall. Let me show you. So, just a, like a millimeter or two right there of take up. Nice clean break. And now let's see the reset. Very, very tactile and audible as you heard there. So yeah, decent trigger in there for sure. Okay, so very nice. Uh, let's go ahead and break it down and show you a couple of, uh, show you the bolt, uh, the bolt carrier group in here. So this is the bolt carrier group. Obviously we have the charging handle and it comes with a standard H2 and uh, H2 buffer and spring. So the the BCG here is nickel, nickel boron coated um, and you can see it's a little dirty from when you're shooting so you should be able to maybe not use uh, some and usually there's a cloth or something but um, you know you can just typically just wipe these down and take off the stuff without even using any cleaner. This, this is wiping off really easy as you can see. So yeah, um, so I believe these used to be um, kind of, uh, these used to be proprietary with the the gas tube here being more inside, uh, still in here. So it would just kind of be like up to this point, which obviously doesn't, you know, if you guys uh, run airs, then you'll know what I'm talking about. Actually, in fact, the, the other really interesting thing is it doesn't have a, it's not, there's no uh, staking on the gas key here like you would see in a typical AR. So that's a really cool interesting design which I would imagine gives us a lot more strength um, and uh, longevity on this. So that's pretty cool. Um, this is the first time I've broken down and looked at this. So if, you, if I seem surprised I am. <laughs> so uh, obviously it's marked with the LWRCI right here. And then obviously we have the bolt right here. But yeah, it's a pretty cool looking bolt. I like how it's got all these kind of um, machine parts out. It gives it more of a kind of a cool look. But yeah, I mean, looks aside, um, it you know it does function perfectly. Um, and I do like the nickel boron coating. It just wipes off. So you can see it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, all right, there's the bolt carrier grip. Let's put that back together.
so um, obviously we're back together here. So some of the thoughts on this. Um, shooting, uh, it was really, really, really nice to shoot. Um, because it has a mid-length gas system in here, which I forgot to mention, it, it does have a mid-length gas system and it makes it um, very smooth, very smooth shooter. Um, yeah, it, it was it was just it was a pleasure to shoot. So, uh, do I recommend uh, this AR15? Um, yes, um, but just be aware of some of the things that I pointed out. Make sure you understand uh, this rail in particular. The fact that um, you're not limited, but it does because it is isn't technically M lock. Um, be, just be aware of that if you buy it. I mean, again, for me, I could set this up easily for how I want to run it, and I'm sure most of us could, but just be aware if you, if it, you know, that just might be a problem that you run into. Um, I think this is definitely a mid to top tier, definitely leaning towards more top tier AR-15 at a very, very solid mid tier price. Uh, these are coming in about 1500 bucks. And for what's on the market right now and the pricing, this is a very, very good price for this firearm. And um, it has, as I say, it has some absolutely awesome features from the barrel to the complete ambi uh, lower uh, to the very cool BCG. It's got a good trigger. There's a lot to really like about this rifle. And so I think for the price, you're definitely getting your money's worth. <clears throat> In that respect, I have, I have no qualms about recommending it. Um, you know they have a they have a good reputation. Um, these they're they're more known for their um, piston uh, AR-15s, um, and then they've got into obviously the direct impingement guns. Um, but these are these are really really nice. Um, I like how lightweight it is. I like how it shoots, and I love all the features on it. I don't feel like anything is unnecessary. Um, so yeah. Very happy with it. Pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions or comments, please ask them below. I'm always happy to help out wherever I can. And if you haven't hit that like and subscribe button, please do so. It doesn't cost you guys a dime, but it really does help me out, and I greatly appreciate it. And that's it. All right. Until next time, I'll catch you later.